And exactly as expected, Richard Sharp has been found uh, in want. Uh, he did breach the governance code for public appointments. Uh, Mr. Heppenstall states that a breach does not necessarily invalidate the appointment. So, I mean, he, he wants to have it both ways, but uh, Richard Sharp has now decided that he is going to step down um, and he should, frankly, I think he should have stepped aside while this investigation was on. He has uh, offered very little leadership, in fact, by being so so much of a distraction at a time when the BBC was in serious need of leadership. Uh, he's apparently going to, well, he's resigned as BBC chairman uh, after conceding that this official report finds that he breached the rules for public appointment and he will remain in the role of BBC chairman until the end of June while the search for a successor takes place. Uh, he said, it was proposed to me that I stay on as chair until the end of June, while the process to appoint my successor is undertaken. And I will, of course, do that in the interest of the corporation, stability and continuity. Well, I don't think he's contributed a great deal to either the stability or the continuity of the BBC in the last few months while this um, hoo-ha has been going on. The only thing that uh, Richard Sharp can possibly answer <clears throat> is whether or not he... Uh, facilitated the loan for uh, Boris Johnson or whether he was involved in that or whether he was entirely uh, transparent during the appointment process. Clearly, he was found wanting.